Some Russians are happy about the arrival of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region and are even asking to be liberated from Vladimir Putin. As Nexta writes, during a conversation with Ukrainian soldiers in one of the settlements of the Kursk region, Russian Andrei asked that the Ukrainian armed forces hang Putin. At the same time, he noted that he received humanitarian aid from Ukraine. You've given it all. May God bless you. Beat the fascists. Really beat them. Hang the Putin. Hang him, please, said the emotional Russian. At the end of the conversation, the soldier said, Glory to Ukraine. The Russian replied, Glory to the heroes. After taking control over the Russian town of Sudza, the Ukrainian army has now established humanitarian corridors allowing civilians to leave. Some residents make their way to Ukraine. More than 130,000 people, according to the Russian authorities, have fled border areas or been evacuated from them since Ukrainian forces began their incursion on August the 6th. Many have found themselves in this regional capital, a city of about half a million. Ivan Krutikovo, who said he had served for four months with the Russian private military force near Kherson in southern Ukraine, has turned his boxing club in Kursk into a temporary shelter. He has been expecting something like this attack for more than a year, he said, adding, A lot of people still do not understand the overall seriousness of what is happening. Many people ignore the situation around them and think it will pass them by, he said. But we are already experiencing it firsthand. Evacuated residents of Russia's Kursk Oblast are being taken to recreational facilities in Russian-occupied Crimea, Suspiln, Crimea reported. An employee of one of the Crimean recreational facilities told Suspiln Crimea on condition of anonymity that local authorities had begun bringing refugees from Kursk Oblast to their city, which was not disclosed by the source for security reasons. Deputy Permanent Representative of Ukraine's president in Crimea, Denis Chistikov, told Suspiln Crimea that the regional branch of the Red Cross in Kirsch initiated the resettlement of Kursk Oblast's residents to the territory of the Crimean city. 35 people had already moved into facilities in Yevpatoria, Chistikov claimed. Chistikov said that Russia's transfer of population from the Russian territory to occupied Crimea is a violation of Article 4 of the Geneva Convention. The official suggested that Russia is continuing the policy of population displacement that it has been employing since 2014 when it began to massively move people from Russia to occupied Crimea through various programs. About 600,000 Russian citizens were brought to occupied Crimea by official calculations and according to unofficial data, this figure may have reached 1 million, Chistikov said. Вау! Офигеть! Ого! Ого! Это что, еще одна, что ли, взорвалась? Ну, взорвалась, загорелась. Вау! Офигеть! Ого! Ого! Это что, еще одна, что ли, взорвалась? Ну, взорвалась, загорелась. 